Have you ever wondered if you can create contracts inside a high level so then you can actually send them to your prospects and clients to get them to sign and then submit? Well, I'm actually going to show you guys how to do that today. We can do everything inside high level, so let's jump right into it. There's a couple ways we can go about this, and I'm going to go ahead and create a form because that's basically the fundamental piece where we're going to be building here. So here I have my form, form number 22. Let's go ahead and change this to a contract form. Later on in this video, we're going to take this form and we're actually going to put it inside of a funnel. So then you can send that funnel to your prospect or they can just fall right into it and sign the information and then be onboarded. So I'm going to keep this form very, very basic to be honest with you, because all the detail and all the information is actually going to be built into the funnel. But what do we want? We want to get their full name, of course, and then we want to get their phone number and their email. So now we have all these points of contact, we have their information, but this is actually how you add the signature feature. I actually learned this feature very recently because I was on a sales call with someone and they actually asked me a question that I didn't have an answer to. And they asked me, do I have to still use DocuSign? Is there any way where I can create contracts inside a high level? Is there any way I can just have it all inside the one system? Because everything else is inside the system, right? And I was on the phone and I was like, you know, that's a really good question. Let me go ahead and look that up and see if I can get back to you on that. But I don't know off the top of my head. Funny enough, just like everything else, high level has everything that you really need. So all you gotta do is go to custom fields and I'm actually gonna just type in signature. Then you're gonna click add custom field and as you can see, you can actually add all this stuff if you want. We can actually upload a file uploader. I clicked on signature right here, and now you can see the preview. There's nothing really here. We're gonna go to next, and then as a field name, I'm literally just gonna type signature. The object is a contact and group. I'm just gonna put additional info. Additional preferences, I'm gonna leave that blank. I'm gonna click save, and now I'm gonna scroll down and see if we can drag and drop and see if I get a box. And look at that, we actually get a box here to have them sign and have them verify that they went through the form and went through the entire contract. This is super sick. It's honestly really awesome that it's inside the same, um, the same software where everything can just be in high level. Like it's honestly incredible. Uh, and of course we do wanna make sure that this signature is required to go ahead and submit the form. And then next, of course, the final touch of the button. We're gonna add the button right below the signature. Now guys, is the fun part to actually make the funnel page to go ahead and integrate this. So we're gonna make our way over two funnels up here at the top left and new funnel right here. Go to template library and let's go ahead and see what we can find that would look the best. So depending on what niche you're in, you could make it customized to that niche or what I would actually recommend doing is make it personally branded to your own brand. So that way you can kind of copy and paste it for every single customer or client you onboard. But for this video, just for time's sake, let's pick this one, it looks pretty sick. All right, so here I just went ahead and added a new section. I deleted everything else, deleted all the images. But what we're gonna do is actually integrate the form right now. We're gonna drag and drop. Let me go ahead and select contract form. And one, two, three, there we go. The form is now inside. I was like, wait, why isn't it showing up? Uh, here we go, we got it. All right, so as you can see, this is like a little bit of a funnel page. You know, you can customize the text here and stuff. All right, so I just made this page very, very simple here. Uh, a very simple funnel page just to say, hey, this is my client contract form. And you definitely wanna go ahead and sign it off. Of course, when you're actually doing this in practice, you wanna go ahead and add some terms, if you have any, just to kind of protect yourself. Now to make this very, very effortless and make this very simple, you guys can actually integrate this entire form and this entire idea into the essentials or professional plan that I actually gave you guys in my snapshot within Outlier Agencies. I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick in case you don't wanna have things separate. It would honestly make the flow of things better. So let's go ahead and take a look and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. So let's just go to the essentials plan real quick. What you would have to do is you would actually go to add new step and then you would name this the contact or contract form page. Now, what you would do is actually bring us to the very top and then what we would do is click on existing. We could actually select the one we just made or we can actually duplicate this and make it match the exact funnel. Uh, we're gonna click on this one just for this example. I wanna make things just kind of branded to, to the way we already had it because I'm gonna assume most of you guys are gonna do this instead. So now that I'm inside of this process, remember this is the duplicated version of the you know checkout page. I have this right here, which I'm gonna make as the form like this. And then the next page, when they go ahead and click on submit contract, then they'll be brought to the checkout page. And you guys can have this in any order that you want. Probably having the contract form first makes more sense because they kind of they kind of want to agree to what they're doing before paying and putting money up front. But 
I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what or how you should do things. And then how would you make it so they go to the next step? Well, you click on this form right here and then you click on this submit contract or just the form in general. And then you actually go to the next step right here. Go to next step. So let's go test this out, save it. And I'm gonna show you guys in action how this will work. And now that I have some fake information and I have my actual real phone number here because it didn't work otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and submit the contract and show you guys exactly what will happen. So let's go ahead and press submit and it should bring us to the next checkout page and it does. So this is actually really great. We don't have any products available because I don't have my Stripe connected to this account. This is just my video account, but in your real, uh, in your real dashboard and your real sub account, you will have the two products here uh, or the product here to select for the monthly retainer or the yearly annual retainer. So that is honestly how it works really well. And you guys can actually track when forms are submitted. And how do you actually check form submissions and keep things very organized and very professional? Well, you're going to go to forms and you're going to click on submissions. This right here, of course, I have my personal number blurred out. This is everything. It has the test signature right here. It has the time and down to the second it was signed. Uh, direct traffic and it has all this other events and stuff. This is how you actually keep track of everything and keeping track of your customers that are signing. So guys, I hope this video is very beneficial to you. I, like I said, recently learned about this myself and I was like, oh shit, I gotta make a video about this and show you guys exactly how to do this because it's very powerful. And now you don't actually gotta go ahead and use DocuSign. If you really wanted to, you could go ahead and link a PDF uh, file to the, to the form we made and then add the signature below or type up your terms of agreements or terms of uh, contract on the side of the first step of the funnel and then have the, the form here, right? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one.